Hello, this then is the Egon DC Hub. This is the simplest, most reliable, most cost-effective DC power distribution board in existence. Your auxiliary or house batteries are connected here. Your start battery connected here. Your DC-DC chargers are connected here. Your solar panel, unregulated solar, connected here. Now your batteries are all connected. Let's start with the loads. 40 amp continuous or 80 amp intermittent current draw from these two connections. One of them is perfect to run the output from a solar MPPT controller. These 1 to 5 and 6 to 10 are outputs for, for example, your fridge, your console lights, your USB chargers, your exterior floodlights, your console fridge, whatever you want to do. You have 10 connections. And here is a 80 amp output, ideal for a twin compressor. Your wiring is complete. All that is needed now is that you put in the fuses. There, 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 and of course, these red LEDs, once a circuit is completed, if the fuse blows, these LEDs will glow, indicating a blown fuse. Here is where you put your spare fuses. Your job is done. Your wiring is complete. It's as easy as that. All those instructions available on the internet. We've done a lot of work to help you get your build complete. The Egon DC Hub is built to exacting standards. It's an extremely heavy duty, robust unit. Give some thought to where you're going to mount it. Now, the mounting bracket, which is optional, there's a lot of cleverness in this design. So that we've deliberately left one side of it with no connections at all. So basically there's the bracket there and you assemble it. It's extremely assembled. That sits in like that. And then these little T sections, you can see them there quite nicely. See them there, those T sections. What they are for is when you run your cables, all of them, you slip a a, a cable tie over that and you tighten it up and it prevents vibration wearing your connections loose. Let me address a few of your frequently asked questions. For example, does the size of my battery bank matter? No, because of course a battery bank is measured in amps over time. How much, how many amps can be delivered for how long? Of course, it doesn't matter how big your battery bank is or how small it is. It will work perfectly with the DC hub. Question about fuses. Do I need to fuse the cable going from the battery to the DC hub? The answer is most definite. Yes, always fuse at the battery to protect the cable that is running from the battery to the DC hub. The question of maximum current. While the DC hub can handle a total of continuous 150 amps, the individual connector with the largest input output is measured at 80 amps. So anything larger than that, for example, a large inverter is going to draw considerably more than 80 amps. They should be wired separately and directly to your battery. We have supplied a lot of information to help you get your wiring done easily and quickly. Another question, for example, where should the shunt be wired? Well, that is going to be between the negative terminal on the battery, house battery, and the DC hub.